a lot, and I mean a lot of you, have asked me to make videos about Onision, and there's a very, very good reason why I don't do it. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, because I make videos about YouTubers and things going on in the YouTube community, people are like, hey, make a video on Onision. What are your thoughts on Onision? Make a video on Onision. And I just don't make videos on Onision, and there's a reason for that, all right? Tristan and I have talked about this multiple times, multiple times, and like, as much as some people think that I'm just gonna hop on any wave of like, you know, uh, drama or things going on in the YouTube community, I stay away from Onision for very good reasons. And I don't even know if Tristan's gonna agree with me making this video or not, but this is going to be my one and only last video about Onision, and I'm gonna talk about it. But let me actually correct myself before one of you out there goes and makes an exposed video. When I first started on YouTube a while back, before I really knew who Onision was, I saw a video he did about anxiety. It was actually a pretty good video, and I made a video about that, right? And I was like, hey, he mentioned some good topics, and yeah, cool. So I made that video. I'm not gonna delete it or anything like that. If you wanna go check it out, cool. But now that I know who Onision is as a person, I'm like, this this guy. So anyways, those of you who don't know Onision, congratulations. Your mental health has already improved just by, <laughs> just because of that. So yeah, like Onision, he, he craves attention. He feeds off of attention. Attention is his lifeblood. He doesn't care if it's good or bad attention. He just does things to get attention. And it's, it's really sad. It's really sad because like, I, I'm not subscribed to any of his channels or anything like that, but sometimes YouTube recommends it. I'm like, oh, you poor thing. You poor, poor thing. Like, I remember like, you know, when I first got started on the platform and I was like kind of looking, like he was trying to like bait Shane Dawson in to like, you know, making a response video and stuff. And, and like what you realize is that Onision is just trying to get more recognition in some way, shape or form, right? So he calls out other YouTubers and he does just crazy stuff. Like he judges like how like young girls look. He makes like videos that are like borderline racist. He's like done terrible things. Like I, I remember like he did something with like his ex his ex or something, they were in like an open relationship or polyamorous relationship and she like smoked weed and he wanted her to like tattoo liar on herself. It was like absolutely crazy. And this guy has like no solid moral compass at all, even though he tries to act like he does. And again, he does everything for attention. Like he made a video a while back that I was thinking about reviewing, but since I don't make videos on Onision, like he was talking about like people who are depressed and suicidal and it was just awful. And I think, I think watching an iNabber video, that's when he started to kind of like plummet and then he just like fully embraced it. But this guy is just an absolute, ugh. He's just not great. Like he, like he, for me, he's worse than people like Jake Paul and Logan Paul and stuff, but he does things to get attention and that's why I don't make videos on him. So yeah, like there's a bunch of stuff going on. I guess he's been commenting on Eugenia Cooney. Um, I don't know much about her, but I've been thinking about researching her. And there's other topics I want to get into, but Tristan and I were talking like, how do I make these videos without talking about Onision? Like, how do I do that? So I'm letting you know, there might be more videos coming out where I talk about Onision, but what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull a Philip DeFranco and not even say this dude's name. I'm not gonna use him in my thumbnails or anything like that. Now, as far as who is the shooter, if, if you're unfamiliar with my show, I don't like to showcase faces or names here. I think a lot of these shooters want to be martyrs. They want their name and faces everywhere. And I don't want to add to that, nor do I think it's necessary to properly talk about the story. So yeah, basically, like if I'm talking about a situation that Onision is like, involved in I'm just gonna say that guy this guy I might have his uh, I might have his pictures in a video of mine and if you guys share it go for it but I do not want the algorithm to pick up that I am talking about Onision in a video and the algorithm will pick it up off of titles tags description I know how this thing works so I'm not going this is the last time unless something happens that I'm going to say Onision's name unless something changes but 
much like other people, like I've mentioned, like we're the reason why Greg, uh, not Greg Paul, well, we're the reason why Greg Paul exists, but we're the reason why Logan Paul and Jake Paul exist. We're the reason why awful YouTubers exist because we feed into them and they love that. They love it and they're always trying to up their game and get more attention, more attention, more attention. They're addicted to the attention. So what I'm trying to do is just not talk about him, just not give him that attention because that's exactly what he wants. So when you guys request videos of me, like, yeah, there's a whole bunch I could talk about that that is very easy content every youtuber on the planet makes content about him because it's easy content it is just the lowest hanging fruit and that is what keeps Onision doing it so I don't want to feed into that one of the best videos I saw on that was from Bionic Pig all right Bionic Pig like uh, I think Tristan showed me the video Bionic Pig made about Onision where Bionic Pig talked about that and I'm like yep you're right you're right dude so trust me over the last year I've thought about making videos about him but I'm not so the next thing I want to talk about to just kind of like end this uh with the second half of this video is like you guys like right now right now we're doing it all over again we're doing it all over again like one of, the, one of the aspects of mental health is like, look how you're contributing to the problem. So like a great example, a great example right now is the young woman who's been going on Dr. Phil, uh, uh, who went on Dr. Phil, right? And like, it's crazy to me, it's crazy to me. Now, if you wanna learn more about it, like um, Positively Udo, my buddy, she made a great video on it. But like today, PewDiePie and Bionic Pig both made videos on it. They both made videos on it. So now it's getting more attention. So something that like Udo pointed out, which then uh, Bionic Pig pointed out, and I think PewDiePie might've talked about it, is like, that's what they want. They're, they're doing this, they're, you know, they're acting or whatever. Like remember Little Tay? Like they're doing this to get attention. And the fact that they're doing it and then people are making videos on it, it's just fueling that cycle. And then it's inspiring the next generation of D-bags to come in and do this. You see what I mean? It's just like the same reason why Philip DeFranco doesn't talk about these, um, these people who do horrendous acts. That's what they want. And the more of us who talk about it, the more it inspires other people to do so. So like, it just, it's really just fascinating to me because like you guys, here's the thing, like as a content creator, there's so much we could talk about. There's so much. And you know, to jump on the train and to keep perpetuating this thing, like do you think news outlets know that it's a bad idea to talk about like mass shootings and you know, the, the person's name and their background? You think they know that? Of course they do, but it gets clicks and it gets views. So like, that's just like where I stand on this thing. So again, Hopefully this is the last time I actually mention Onision and make a video about Onision, but I want you to watch your other creators. Like Bionic Pig, like mentioned, I love Bionic Pig, don't get me wrong, but he mentioned multiple times in this new video. He's like, she just wants to become an internet meme. Go watch any new Dr. Phil. All he's doing is just trying to get those controversial clicks. I mean, just think about how many memes he's pumped out. Danielle Bergoli, the girl with the poop juice. And this is the next girl who wants to become a meme. So she's trying to do it too, exactly and it worked, like it worked. There's like this really old Simpsons, Simpsons episode, super old, like it might be from the 90s, right? But it was a Halloween episode where like the ads like came to life and then like they made this song or this jingle and it was like, just don't look, just don't look. Just don't look, just don't look. Just don't look, just don't look. And that's like kind of what this is. Like when, the, when these people are acting a fool, just don't look, move on with your day. You probably have people in your life who do the exact same thing. They do anything for attention and we cannot enable that behavior. So I don't know. Hopefully Onision doesn't see this video because I don't want him trying to like bait me into more conversation. But again, hopefully moving forward, whenever I bring him up in a topic, he'll just be that guy, all right? But anyways, I hope that explains some stuff to all of you who have wanted me to make videos about him. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let's have a conversation down in the comments below. But I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about, about fueling people who thrive off attention, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, you are all amazing. And if you would like to help me spread a message of hope when it comes to mental health, make sure to click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Do not feed into Onision, and I'll see you next time.